Hello, I'm Tally of Tally's TinyTreasures.com, where I blog about my hiking, camping, and travel experiences. Today I'm going to be doing a long wear test of the DNM lip stains that I found off Amazon. I will link them in the description below if you're interested in purchasing them. I have to say even though I searched up lip stain, and these do have some staining capability, they're not really what you I would classify as a lip stain or a lip tint. They remind me more of a normal cream lipstick that has some staining capability. If you actually read the box, it says cream lipstick, but when you read like the title of the product, it reads like a wish title. They literally like listed every single keyword that someone could possibly search for when looking for a any kind of lip product and came up with this. All right. <laughs> I got the ones that I thought were the most kind of neutrals that I would like. It says that this is 03, so I presume that's the color box. It's, none of the actual lipsticks have names or colors or just numbers, anything, but I will link in the description the exact color box that I used, and there's different ones to get. They are a bullet lipstick, but like an ultra, ultra tiny bullet lipstick. I wish I had like a regular bullet lipstick to show the comparison, but it is just really, really small. Okay, let's push it all the way out. So that's about how much product you get. Not a lot, but it wasn't exactly really expensive. And I know people were really a little bit angry in the reviews that it wasn't what they expected. And if you just go off based off the title description, it won't be. But it's still pretty good value, I think, for what it is for a cream lipstick that has some uh, staining capabilities. I've already done the long wear test, and I do think that they stain pretty well, maybe not as well as some lip stains, but I do kind of like how small they are and they're nice just to throw into your purse to refresh a look. Alrighty, so here it is on. It's very creamy, very moisturizing. It's not like a dry liquid lipsticks like these, like the Super Stay Matte Ink by Maybelline. I love this liquid lipstick, but it can be a little drying. And these are just very creamy, even creamier than, you know, some of like my Lancome lipsticks that I have. They're... It's almost like a lip balm and a lipstick had a baby. It's very, feels very incredibly moisturizing. So if you suffer from dry lips, you might actually like this. And as I was saying, the small sizes do lend themselves to travel and just throwing into your purse or car naturally, not in the summer or if you're even in a place where it freezes, uh, the formula could freeze and then you know, thaw and then refreeze and thaw and that can definitely affect the chemistry. But, and in the summer, because it is a cream lipstick just like this, it will melt. But fall, spring, you could just keep one in your bag and in your car and all of that. So I do like the the nice little travel sizes. I don't mind them. I do agree when I first got it and I opened it up, I was just like, why are they so small? So it can be a bit of a disappointment if you're expecting a normal size kind of lip product. They are smaller than that. <laughs> just to compare 
the surface area but I haven't noticed any problems and if anything I think the smaller size is nice to uh, get more of a detailed look for your cupid spell so let's try and so let's swatch these and then actually get into the long wear test so again I picked box uh, color number 03 and I picked these because I thought they would be really nice nudes which I do believe they are some are pinkier nudes some are peachier nudes and this box if you're someone who likes more brown nudes this is not going to be for you all right here is our starting off point for how the lipstick looks going in after eating some food i did have some transfer down onto my chin i hate when that happens but it rubbed off pretty nicely and didn't really seem to stain my chin too bad and the lipstick still looks really passable. I don't think I need to reply or anything like that. But there was lots of transfer and even transfer onto my glass. And here I am at the end of the day before I do my skincare. And I do think there is still a little bit of some pink staining. Uh, the real difference I can see is from other actual lip stains is that they're once I do my skincare, there is no trace of it. It's just gone. But as far as it being a actually good lipstick, I think it is. I think it's a good lipstick, but it's just maybe not the stain that everyone wants it to be. Mm -hmm. 